and today we're talking stained glass windows Moto E with binoculars if you remember Moto E is a very old phone we're at Chignall Smealy Church and I'm going to talk you through the setup that we have which is the familiar Nikon binoculars 10 by 40 on the tripod with the tripod mount but we've got a Moto E which is the phone this time and the reason is is I can use my Moto G to photograph what you're seeing now in other words exactly the setup as we see it I'm just doing a little circle of the way we are set up with the tripod with the King Joy ball head binoculars mount and oh there we go there's the Moto E looking at the outside of the church we're now round the back of the church and as you know that stained glass windows must be seen from the inside but we're just getting an idea for those people who are not familiar with this particular church there are two sets going inside so I've got the light on which is just a single bulb we've got uh, St Alban and St Nicholas and then at the far end we've got St Peter, St Paul and the Good Shepherd notice how the video here with my Moto G is really, or G4 rather is really difficult but I'm just giving you an idea of the surroundings of what we're about to achieve and that is looking at these stained glass windows sometimes it's very dark, sometimes it's very light so we're going to adopt a photography open camera three bracketed exposures so thinking about how we can get started um, we can look up and we can get the camera going there we go the camera is going and the phone is on the back of the binoculars we're looking up there and any second now you're going to see the finger come out to go one two three there is our picture these images will be seen immediately after this piece of the video so I'm just adjusting the ball head locking down the camera and then hitting focus and tap one two three taken another set of pictures then we go in and we go up the other end which is really difficult because the main part here with the three vertical stained glass windows is very difficult to get close to um, even with the binoculars but with that said this is a complete challenge one two three we've taken another picture it really is a challenge on myself here because I went up yesterday and as we're just taking these pictures yesterday was raining it was overcast it was dull but maybe the pictures were better we need to see today it was very sunny and I went back and recorded what you're seeing on screen so the Moto E which was day two which was today sunny pictures look like this wow this is a Moto E which is a very old phone taking bracketed shots using open camera and we're getting images like this from the inside of that stained glass just a couple more sample images taken today lots of depth lots of texture here with this technique now yesterday the Moto E was used again but it was a very wet overcast day these were the images like this I would actually say that there's a possibility that these are for me um, images that have been taken bracketed in open camera vibrance HDR and then an HDR into snapseed nature just a few more images that I did but it was so dark in there that I couldn't even properly do any videoing my point using this technique is can we get a very old camera in this example onto those binoculars and take quite challenge, challenging um, situations to make some okay adequate even nice images remember these are all raw images that I've not not cropped you know because I'm obviously doing the video so we're just going to go through to a couple more as you see and then I'm going to end it up on a brick wall with um, a uh, bell tolling rope which is just there before we go in and never finish even if you think you've taken your pictures I'm going around saying really if I was using the video part of it on the Moto G4 you know what's happening with the light what's happening with the focus is there anything useful 
what I did do today was take my Nikon DSLR D80 I think and take some images which are going to be just sample images that I've taken today which look like this only because I can actually get in a little bit wider notice the brickwork there is being illuminated by the single um, light bulb at the other end a totally different story where we can get some images of the whole thing um, Perhaps I rushed these, but the whole point of it was to demonstrate this video using those binoculars. As I just said to you, and to me, quite honestly, is don't shoot off. Just think about how light in videography or photography works. So I've just wandered around a little bit just for the end part here in this quite beautiful um, rural countryside church and started just to look at the depth. Now, for me, the sensors on recording video are not deep enough. In other words, they've got some very brights and some very darks. But I particularly like you know, tapping on the screen and just seeing the changes as they go through, just to see that there is possibly some more things uh, in this church. Of course, the stained glass is a two-part. And then we're going to step back outside to conclude, where, as you can see, it was a lovely morning and everything was still the birds were around we took one picture and this was mike downs at youtube for another technique and method